Hey guys, welcome to my backyard. Um, today we're going to be learning how to make bannock, a traditional um, indigenous bread. Um, it's a really great product that we can use whenever we're out on the trail. It's easy to pack up, it keeps well, it's lightweight, and you can add water to it uh, as you go on the trail. So you don't have to carry the heavy water with you. You can, you can uh, filter some or get some fresh water uh, from wherever your source is. We'll go back inside right away and we'll get our bannock uh, mix made up. Okay guys, so right now we're going to mix up our uh, bannock mix. Um, you can do this ahead of time. If I'm taking this out in the woods or on the trails, I'll put all of my dry ingredients in a wet Ziploc bag and then I'll put my wet ingredients in a little, you know, container, some kind of spill proof container. Um, because we need to put our oil in right before we make it. So bannock super simple. Two cups of flour into the bowl. Uh, we have 20 milliliters or is that like four teaspoons of baking powder and a tablespoon of salt. So we're going to put all those in. Um, you like to use a fork, just get all the dry ingredients mixed in. Once that's good, we can add in our oil. And to that, we're going to add a bit of water. So let me just keep stirring that and grab the water. Now, if you were doing this on the trail, take all of your dry ingredients, like I said, pop them in here, and then just add your water and oil right before. Um, I'm gonna do this right now. You need about 375 mils of water. Um, I like to just bring it together and then see if we're at the right consistency. Because you can always add more water, but you can't take out flour or add take out water once it's been added. So I'm just gonna bring this together. We want a sort of sticky consistency. We want it to be able to form into a dough, but um, not stick too much to our hands or to everything else. So we're getting really, really close. I'll just add the rest of the water here. Now the bannock can be cooked over fire, which is what I'm gonna show you. Uh, but traditionally, most uh, it would be cooked on a cast iron stove with a bit of oil and you just make sort of like a pancake. Um, but I really like doing it over the fire. It's a nice easy trail and food. There we go. So we got a bit where our dough's a bit sticky. Um, now I'm gonna just knead it together and work it. I don't wanna overwork this. I'm not, it's not a, a loaf of bread where I'm trying to develop the gluten. I just wanna make sure it comes together. All right, so we have our bannock. I'm gonna take this outside of the fire pit and we'll finish off. So I have my uh, fire ready to be lit here. I did sort of a log cabin teepee combo. Um, inside of here I got a little teepee. Throw a couple matches down there. Should be able to get it going. Everything's really, really dry. Maybe one more. There we go. It's a little windy out here. Okay. Put our logs on top. And we'll come back and take a look at this in a few minutes once uh, we start to get some coals. So we're getting a little bit better. I'm going to throw a couple more logs on there now. And uh, we'll get it to burn down to coals so that we're ready to cook. So our fire's getting ready. We have some nice coals forming. Uh, I'm going to grab the bannock and show you how to wrap it around the stick and then we'll uh, get started on this. So what we want to do is we want to get our bannock dough wrapped around our stick. The best way to do that is to grab a nice pinch of dough and what we want to do is we want to roll it into a little snake. So we're going to take that dough and we're going to roll it up into a kind of a long snaky tube. 
once we have this, we're gonna take it and we're gonna wrap it around our stick. So pinch it and wrap it around so you got a nice even coating. The better you do this, if you get it nice and even, then you're gonna get a really nice uh, even cook on it. So you're gonna take this down to your fire and you wanna do this over coals. We don't really wanna get this directly into the flames. It'll be too hot. Um, so I'm gonna cook this down, probably take about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll show you guys the finished result. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I've got my bannock cooked, perfectly ready to go. It's uh, nice and, and cooked through. It's got some nice color on it and I'm gonna enjoy it with a little bit of caramel dipping sauce. Um, but you can use any kind of jam, margarine. Um, these little containers though of like um, maple syrup or something are really easy because you can pack them in your backpack and you don't have to worry about it. So I hope you enjoyed making bannock with Mr. Sermon. And uh, it was nice to see you guys again. And all you need to do is comment on this video and make sure that you put your name, your first name and your last initial in so that I know who watched it. All right guys, thanks, we'll see you later. Stay safe.